Hi everyone, just a quick video on brake servos, uh, what they are, what they do, how they do it, and the symptoms you'd find if yours is failing or has failed. So, first of all, what is a brake servo? Well, it's this disc section here, and what it does is it boosts the braking effort that you're applying at the foot pedal. So, um, it's quite difficult for you to slow down a large vehicle on your own, so you need that braking assistance to help um, force the brake fluid over here off to the four corners of the vehicle. How does it do what it does? So um, it takes engine pressure. So whenever an engine's running, there's always a, a piston on the intake stroke, producing negative air pressure as the piston drops down the cylinder because it's obviously a sealed chamber. It uses that negative pressure from the, um, or negative vacuum, should I say, from the intake manifold, and it directs it into here as well. So this whole chamber is made out of two sections. You've got the front chamber here, and then you've got a rear chamber behind the diaphragm, which is sat in the middle there. Slightly set back on this, because obviously there's no pressure in there. So there's two sides to the chamber, and there's a proportioning valve in the middle, which will basically keep them balanced. So this whole system is under vacuum, uh, negative pressure. What happens when you press the brake pedal, you act on here, this rod gets pushed in, and it moves the diaphragm. Uh, atmospheric air is allowed into this uh, section of it. So now you've got a vacuum here with atmospheric air coming in because there's no resistance because it's a vacuum this whole diaphragm moves forward acts as an assistance and then pushes oops, excuse me these pistons and these springs uh, to the opening ports which allows brake fluid off to the four corners of the car through these through these outputs here um, so that's how it works obviously when you come off the pedal the return spring moves it back and the diaphragm moves back to the to the back of the brake uh, servo area there so it uses vacuum. So what are the common symptoms with them or failure points? Obviously, if you have a split in the breather pipe up here, then you're obviously gonna lose um, vacuum pressure, which is gonna mean that potentially atmospheric pressure is getting into your brake servo. If you get an atmospheric pressure in this side rather than vacuum, when you're pressing the brake, it's gonna be a lot, lot harder. So you're gonna have a really hard brake pedal because you're pushing against atmospheric pressure rather than a vacuum. Um, other seals can fail. So the front seal here between the brake fluid reservoir and the master cylinder, because this is all liquid, or brake fluid, and this is all air. So if the front seal goes, then obviously a liquid can, your brake fluid, should I say again, does get into your uh, brake server. That can be another failure point. If there's any failures to the um, proportioning valve here, again, air pressure, atmospheric air pressure can get through into this section here, which is again, is gonna make your brake pedal extremely firm. Not only that, if atmospheric pressure comes through the proportioning valve here and then leaves through here and goes to your engine, suddenly your air is getting a lot of atmospheric air put into the inlet manifold that it wasn't expecting. That's gonna cause rough idles because the car's gonna be running in a very lean state or it could cause engines to stall. So if you ever get a car that's stopped with a hard brake pedal and you turn it on and it, it starts momentarily and cuts out, it'll be because additional air is getting fed into the inlet manifold and the car's stalling because it's the fuel air mixture is too lean. So I hope that makes sense. What I'm just gonna try and do now, and I haven't tried this yet, is try and push this down just to show you the action of the diaphragm moving. So come with me, I'm gonna try and put this on the floor. Hopefully I can get it to work because it's quite firm without it. So let's see if I can try and get this just to work just to show you with both hands. So hopefully you see that diaphragm moving there as you press the brake pedal. And you might be able to see those uh, Pistons moving here as if the fluid was going to the four corners of the car. And that's how it works. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in the next one.